All you're gonna need is a set of dumbbells. We'll take it back to the mat. Good morning, good morning. All right guys, you guys are popping in. Hope everyone is having a fantastic Tuesday. Feeling extra grateful that we get a move this morning right here. So let's go ahead. Sweaty hit equipment for here today. You guys are gonna go ahead and just need medium dumbbells. That is it, that is it. If this is your first time jumping into a sweaty hit workout with me, first off, welcome. We're gonna have some fun. Grab a towel if you need it, grab a water, keep it close nearby. I will be moving with some 10 pound dumbbells today, so anything really between that like eight to 15 range. And then we'll be taking it back to the mat shortly here. I like to get into these sweaty heads because it's 30 minutes in and out. We will get that body moving and going. Comments will go off for the workout. Um, and we will guide through each movement. So we start to just stretch out, open up right here. You guys got about 60 seconds. And we'll take it back to the mat. I'm gonna tilt us down just a hair, center out that screen a little bit there. Perfect. All right, all right. Yep, brief moment there yesterday where I was like, are we gonna get to do lives this week? And you know what, I'm glad we are. So feeling grateful to have that opportunity to move with you guys here. Welcome, welcome. If you have your medium dumbbells, shoot me a thumbs up. You ready to go? We ready to roll? How are we doing Tuesday? If you can hear me, hear the music, that's what we need. We're gonna be working through some circuits today. So, some body weight movement, awesome, awesome. And then some of the weighted movement as well. If at any point you wanna drop the weights and just go with body weight, this whole entire workout is body weight friendly. Um, there are some arm modifications I can give you guys if you do not have a set of hand weights. But other than that, yeah, let's party, let's roll. All right, here we go. Comments go off. Music it goes up, meet me at the back of your mat, and we're gonna go ahead and start. We got three minute body weight warm up. Here we go. Time is on if you need to set those watches. Here is your reminder, here is your cue. I'm gonna set our timer. Kick it in, we got a three minute body weight warm up right here. So we're gonna kind of piece together our warm up. In three, starting with just some air squat arm circles in two. And one, if you can deep squat, get low. Feel the heels connect, take deep drive back and booty. Big inhale, reach those arms, circle our back to that big sit low. Take it up, right back in, big circle, reach, right back on down. Good. Give me two more. Breathe it in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Good. One more right here. We're going to go ahead and hold it at the top. Hold on down, walk out that high plank position. Hold it, pause, add in the air squat, keep it going right here, nice drop, circle on up, reach down for the mat, walk on out your plank, hold, pause, breathe, take it right back on down, booty back, weight to the heels, circle it out. Good, just finding some movement through the body this morning, waking up everything, here we go, big lift, sit it down, walk it out. All right, let's go two more slow tempo right here. And we're gonna add in one more piece to this movement here. Really adding into that full body in four. Here we go. In three, we get the high plank position two. And one, hold it out right here. Hold nice and high from here. I want you to go ahead, bear squat back. Sit, stretch through the upper, upper arms, armpit area, press the booty back, sit into the quads, take it forward to a high plank. Walk it back. You know the drill. Add it in. Big air squat circle. Sit low. Walk the hands on out. Pull, pause, sit the booty back. Reach it forward. Walk it on back. There we go. So you find that nice big hamstring stretch on the way up. Walking those hands on out. Hold the core. Inhale. Exhale, press right here. Nice big straight leg stretch through those hamstrings. Good, let's go one more. We're gonna hold it at the bottom. Going cross back, ankle taps in five. Easy at that plank in three, two, hold it right here. Ready, reach and center. Take your tempo, little reach, alternating, crossing over, reaching for the outside of the heel. 
letting the fish turn back towards the mat, sending the booty up to the ceiling. Breathe it out, back to center. Awesome job. All right, here we go. We got 10 seconds left. You're gonna take it in. You're gonna finish out your warm up here. 30 seconds of mountain climber. Goodbye. Four, three, two, ready. Here you go. Take it right, left, right, left. We're gonna get that heart rate up. Keep going. Keep driving those knees in. 15 seconds on the clock. You can always tap these out. Step them right to the left. Otherwise, we keep driving. Keep going. Good. Option of coming to jumping jacks or take a rest. We're gonna go over that first second. Circuit in three, two, one, breathe. Okay, great. All right, if you want that challenge, I want you to keep moving right now. Otherwise, you're gonna go ahead, take a quick sip of water, picking up the dumbbells. You guys got about 20 seconds. I'm gonna get you into that first workout. For first series here. So, we have alternating curtsy stuck ups. We're gonna curtsy, come up to the top, give me a hammer curl, bringing the heads of the dumbbell to the shoulders, curtsy tap, taking it back. Our cardio push from there, setting down the dumbbells. We're gonna go into a curtsy tap with a hop. So you go 45 seconds through our strength movement, 30 seconds, cardio push. Two rounds and then we'll move on. All right, dumbbells in hand, get ready in five, four, three, two, here we go. First 45 seconds right here. Step back with the right. Stand through. Hammer curl. Keep the elbows in tight. Chest step tall. Step back. Squeeze up. Good. Try not to rock back. As your bicep curling up, keep your abs engaged. Tap back. Every jump. Good. There we go. So keeping the knee pointed on the second third toe.
take the arms back down, stand tall at the top. One lot raise. Right back down, pinch the chest, elbows up, kick those triceps back. For our cardio push, we're gonna take it down to the back. Good, you guys, we're going in 15 seconds right here. You got tricep dips, cross toe tap. Right down, cross toe tap, tap tap. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds in between those stations to get here before that 30 seconds fully starts, all right? For that push, let's go in five. Dumbbells and hands, triceps are up. Three, two, one, right here. Elbows up. If those dumbbells are too heavy, you can always alternate, go one at a time. Big lat raise up the top. Hinge the chest forward. Reach the tailbone, crown of the head, opposite direction. Take it in. Stand tall. Lat raise. There you go. So we're alternating between those triceps. Take it back, squeeze. Reach on down, lift, hug the back of those ribs, squeeze the lat, lower on down. Into the chest, elbows up, kick it back, take it in. Great job, great job. All right, last five. Get ready to come down to the mat in four, three, two, one. Set your dumbbells down. You got five. You got for four. Get ready. Three, two. Let's go. You dip it, drop, tap. Dip, tap, dip, tap, booty, reach. Woo! Find a little rhythm if you can. Otherwise, right here, you're just going at your quickest pace, but you're really emphasizing that tricep press, squeezing the hips up to the ceiling. There we go. The higher you can squeeze those glutes. Woo! Working into the core. Last five. Last four. Three. Two, one more, kick it up, come to the feet. All right, second round. Deep breath, go in six. Hands come up. Let's go, let's go. In three, two, get those elbows even higher. Lift, extend. Jog, lift up, lat raise. Hinge forward, elbows up. Good, so I'm alternating you between that tricep and that lat raise so that we're not spending too much time hinged over. Really nice to the low back today. But that means I need you to really fight for the height on these movements. Lift, because you're getting a break in between as we alternate from lats to triceps. Keep going. Can you get in two more? Woo. Last one, last one. Tricep kick back. Go to that lat raise right here. Make it slow. Hold it at the top for a second. Hold it. Bring it down. Four, three, two. Come on down for those triceps. In five. Right here. In three, two. Let's go. You dip in. Dip. Kick. Kick. Good. So where are your fingertips? They're pointed forward here. Booty is squeezing up to the ceiling. Lift up. Keep the chin off the chest. Reach. Kick up. Cross body. Balance component there. Good. If you just need to kick and not release the hand, that is your modification. But you're still hitting that dip. Let's go. Last five. Four. Three. Two. One more kick. One. Release. Woo. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right. 30 second recovery. We're back to full body. Arms shaking out for a second here. We're going side step squats, only one dumbbell for this set. Taking it up to the chest, you're going to step to the side as you come up and over. Reach those arms. I want you to think of like a Ferris wheel that's alternating side to side with those arms, side step through center, reaching over. From there, we're going to go ahead and get ready. Woo, going into a jack to a drop squat. So what that looks like, you're going to give me... One jumping jack, one drop squat. One jumping jack, one drop squat. And alternating right and left. Here we go. In five, four, dumbbells up. Three, two, woo. Step to the right, let's go. Squat down, all the way up. Squat down, left. Good, so we're asking those obliques to work, the core to stabilize. By removing that dumbbell out of our 
vertical line of the spine. Stepping, working, pushing from the outside of that extended heel, the one you're reaching, stepping out. Making sure, again, we're protecting those knees. Push the knees out. Reach them over the edges of the pinky toe. If you have a band on to the closet, you're opening that last one. Three, two, set it down. Give me that jack. Drop right here. Let's go. Jack, jack. Lift and tap. Modification, no jumping model. Step it, squat it. Step it, narrow squat. All right. Just adding a little bit of alternating, making our minds work this morning, getting those brains up. Give me three more. Three. Two. Last one, make it count. Touch the floor. Pick up that dumbbell. All right, breathe, breathe. We do it again. In five. In four. Three. Step left, let go. Drop down left. Lift up tall, step right. Try to use your mouth. Get side to side. Open up the knees, stay on top. Squeeze the core at the top. Reach the dumbbell up, all the way around. Make your circle a little bit bigger. A little bit more control. If you feel like one part of the movement is moving faster than the other, try to even it out. Here we go, let's go. Four more. Three more. Last one, right and left. Let's go. Take it right. Finish out, step it left. Woo! Get ready, jack and tap. In three. In two. Take it up. Tap. 30 seconds. Go, go. Go. All right, we got that pattern by now, right? So you know right now. You're gonna get a rest after your cardio push. I promise you right now, if you allow yourself to just add a little bit more, a uh, little bit more gusto into those 30 second pushes, your heart rate's gonna stay higher. You're gonna get that metabolic, whoo! There is oh, right here. Boosting those metabolisms for the day, boosting those endorphins for three, two, one, breathe. So good, so good. All right, 30 second recovery. We're off that full body. We're checking them off. Onto the legs. Grab your dumbbells. Taking it down. We got hip bridges. Down onto the mat. We're gonna single this round out. One on the right, one on the left. So you're gonna go ahead, and take those dumbbells, place them on the hip. Squeeze the hips up first. We're gonna start with the right leg, you're gonna take the left foot high, drop, lift, glute squeezes. Your 30 seconds, just setting the dumbbells down, coming up onto those tippy toes, pulsing out, squeezing, getting that abductor press. Press, then we take it second side. Woo! You ready? Let's do it. Hands to hips. You can always go just with one dumbbell. In three, two, one, two for that challenge. Push those heels into the ground. Shoulders down. Walk up to the booty. Kick your left foot up. Let's go. Drop down. Cross. Dip. Pulse. Dip. Pulse. I want you, as you push those hips to the ceiling, think about right now. You're only doing this once. Onto the right side. Squeeze it out. Lift up. Take it right back down. Push that left foot up to the ceiling. Keep going. Give me five more seconds here for five. For four, we get rid of those dumbbells. Take the heels up. Three, two, one. Pulse it out. Out, out. Pulse, pulse. Press those palms into the ground. Maybe walk your tippy toes a little bit closer. Just open, open. Close your eyes. Take a breath. Crushing it. You're doing so good. Get those hips a little higher. Squeeze the booty a little bit tighter. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. You get a quick rest. Reset for that left leg. In three, two, one. Release, release. 
Dumbbells count to your hips. Take a breath. In five. Woo! Let's go in four, three, two. Walk it up. Get those feet right underneath your shoulder blades down. Extend the left leg or right leg. Start to dip that left side. Drop. Press. Good. Think about those weights going straight down and straight up. Like you have a string attached to both of them and you're just lifting them right up to the ceiling. Press. Lower it on down. right here. We're on that second half. We are on to that finish push. Well over that halfway in three. In two. Both feet come down. Heels up. Give me those pulses. Press out. Out. Push up. Good. Can you get your booty one inch higher right now? Squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. Squeeze. Squeeze. A little bit higher. Walk the feet in one inch closer. Press. You should feel right here. If you can take your fingertip touch to the outside of the glutes. Squeezing here. Last 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. All the way. 2. 1. Release. Give it a quick hug in the feet. Alright. Full body. Full body one more time. This is your last full body set. We got full body and core. You guys are doing amazing. Stay with it. Stay with it. Full body here. Same thing, we're gonna single it out, right and left. Deadlift to a curl, working that balance challenge. You got two options here. Option one, B stands here, light toe. Hinging at the hips, coming up, taking in a bicep curl. I want those palms up though. So we're rotating at the bottom, taking it down, turning the palm, bicep curl. Level two, you're gonna completely hinge back, square the hips. Come through with that knee, bicep curl at the top. Again, switching, alternating, kicking the heel back behind you, drawing the knee up through, squeezing the core, curling at the top. From here, we got three pulses to a jump squat on the right. So you're gonna go three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. All right, same thing, second side. You got a little bit of longer recovery right there. Let's get ready, dumbbells in hands in three, Two, right foot comes forward, one, hinge back. You can always start with that B stance and then graduate to that curl. Sending the heel back, pointing the toes down, squeezing the inner thighs, curl up, rotate through. There's a soft baby bend into that standing leg. Reach back, in front. Or you can stop right here and still feel that when you have to fire on your knee. Then see you guys coming down the way like arching up back. In three, let's go last one. In two, one, set the dumbbells down right into the pulses on the right. Here we go. Three, two, one, hop. Back to it. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. Settle. Pulse. Two, power drive up. You can do it, get a little bit lower. Power up a little higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, recover. How we doing? How we doing Tuesday? Are we sweating into our eyeballs yet? Woo. Here we go. Second side, dumbbells in hands in five. Let's go in four, three, left side. Hinge down. Come on up, curl. Find your focus point, find something to stare at. Reach, extend, pull the knee through, bicep curl at the top. Switch those palms. Come on up, and breathe. Great work, great work. Remember, that B stance is perfect right here. B stance, flip your palms, bicep curl. I want you to perfect this first before you move on. Sometimes we take an advancement and end up missing that muscle connection. Last one, last eight. 
We're gonna ask every single muscle that we targeted in two today. Work together, press those palms either down into the mat or turn those palms up to the ceiling. Roll the shoulders back out of the ear. Walk and push those heels back. Feel the big stretch in the back of the calf. Extend, reach long through the spine. Tucking up, shortening that space between the top of the hips and the bottom of the ribs. Cinch it in. Press your inner thighs together. Squeeze your heels in tight. Let's go. Final 15 seconds. Deep breath. Knowing all you have is a child's pose right now. Give yourself that gift, that final push. That reach through the finish line, that accomplishment of finishing something you started. As you sit it back and you enjoy the benefits of all that work you just did in four. Three, two, one. Sit it back. Get back to those heels. Take one more deep breath right where you are right now. Comments are come on. You guys are awesome. Let's go ahead, stretch it on out. String, reach the crown of the head, pulling that toe back. Little flex, little point. Finding that beautiful pigeon stretch down at the bottom. Cross, make that nice little parallel line with the front of the shin towards the front of the mat. Setting the left hip down and forward. Sometimes my little trick here is I like to take my hand, anchor it down onto the foot, so that it's not like sliding back, and then anchor the, uh, my opposite wrist against the knee to create that straight line, and then just starting to hinge forward in the chest. Still breathing into the muscle at work, and then taking it back, sitting it back to that downward dog. Pull it out. Left side coming forward this time, nice big low left lunge. Move around into that lunge, open up the hip, turn the knee in and out. Breathing, feeling that heart rate start to come down. Coming up, crossing into the front of the knee, feeling the front of the hip flexor. As you notice the breath getting easier, fuller. Start to bring back some mindfulness to the breath. Take the right hip over. Check in right now, how do you feel? Challenge you to take these last 30 seconds of little quick stretches. On each inhale, what can you bring into your day? What do you want to see more of? What is present right now in your mind and your body that you want to continue to be able to reach back into and grab for the rest of the day? And on each exhale, what are some thoughts that maybe came up for you? What are some things that maybe you 
came into this space before we got started, you're gonna leave them on the mat. You're gonna exhale them out. Taking one more big inhale all the way in. And pushing back to your final down dog right here. Walking those feet just behind the wrist. Taking a nice little forward fold, hanging heavy through the upper body. Shake out the arms, shake out the head, yes, shake it now. And rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders last to rise, hug them up by the ears. Step the feet together, take a big inhale all the way up, all the way up. Exhale, wrap the arms around. And on one more big breath together, I want you to squeeze in right now. Squeeze tight. You are so loved. So worthy of the time, the space that you created of yourself. Thank you guys so much for letting me be part of your self-care today. <sighs> Woo, we did it. Sweaty and sweaty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hope you guys feel strong and just like you have all the energy, power to go kick ass for the rest of your guys' this Tuesday. I will save this, post this, woo, and I will see you guys all tomorrow morning. Um, it is an ankle weight Pilates class by popular demand. I got so many people like, can you bring back ankle weights? <laughs> Do we all see the sweat in the hair right now? <laughs> um, but tomorrow, ankle weights, Pilates. So if you don't have ankle weights though, please don't be discouraged. It is something you can do completely body weight. We will be targeting it to the full body, really opening up. Today we use a lot of those explosive muscles. Tomorrow we're gonna slow it back down. We're gonna lengthen out everything we just brought in. All that fury. <laughs> all right, and then again, classes. We do have a Friday. Who's coming Friday? Woo, because we have not done a Friday Live since it's been almost a year. I think it's been maybe over a year. It has been over a year. So we're back. <laughs> I will see you guys then. Much love. Happy Tuesday.